Hi everybody. So today we are going to be playing Branches of Power by iCivics. Tap each image to learn how to play Branches of Power. Each turn gives you a chance to control one branch of government. Take actions to move your bills through the entire legislative process. As you develop your bills into laws, the public's support for them will grow. When a law passes judicial review, the public support for that law turns into approval of your government. Guide as many laws through judicial review as you can before the game ends. Who will lead your government? Select a character to lead each branch. What does your president care about? Select an agenda and two values. Um, what do we want to do, you guys? Let's do youth and education. We are in school. We're pretty young, so let's do youth and education. Um, now do we want cooperation or competition? The government should encourage people to work together to find solutions. Or the government should encourage competition or contests to find solutions. Generosity or cost saving. The government should spend money on services that benefit the public. The government should not spend much money on public services. Equality or liberty. Equality, the government should do what it can to make sure people have equal or the same opportunities. Or liberty, the government should protect our freedoms and restrict people as little as possible. Um, let's do generosity and equality. Just choose two random ones. Generosity I'm choosing because we can never um, have enough money, it seems like, in education. We're always needing a little bit more of it. Um, equality because everyone deserves an education. So there we go. Um, you could choose any of these and any um, agenda that you'd like. But those are what I'm choosing. All right, so each turn, we're going to go to a different branch of government. So it looks like the first one is the, the executive. executive. branch sets the legislative agenda and communicates with the public. Go here to come up with new ideas and to sign bills into law. So we're going to select that branch. So we have our agenda, youth and education. Help schools better serve students and their families. Our value is equality and generosity. So let's propose a bill. Which let's idea see. For a new bill would you like to propose? We want to do medical research, social supports, or business innovation. Let's do social supports. We want to make sure um, we have equality for everyone. Many Americans lack the basic things like access to food, shelter, and safety. This also might cost some money, so we might have to be kind of generous to um, give all of these social supports to everyone who needs them. Let's have this lobby green. Or idea, rather. That was just an idea. He proposed it to be a bill. So now let's hold a press conference to generate public support for the proposed Which idea. idea or bill would you like to hold a press conference about? So we're going to hold it over this social supports. Let's hold a press conference. How should I introduce this topic? Hmm. How about we make everyone rich to make things better let's support those who lack the basics food shelter and security we should probably do that one i think people will go for that one a little bit more <laughs> let's support those who lack the basics food shelter and security oh so we gained public support for the bill awesome does homelessness affect 
both adults and children. Oh, so are some kids homeless too? Unfortunately, I think the answer is yes. Yes, that's right. Yeah, that's true. So we get even more public support for the bill. It's easy for everyone to pay for food, right? Unfortunately, no, it's not always easy to pay for food. Food can sometimes be extremely expensive. No, I don't think so. Goodbye, folks. Thanks for the great questions. So we got public support for that, and now the press conference is over. So we proposed um, this idea for a bill, and we held a press conference on the topic. That's what we did this turn. Now it's turn two. So let's do that again. We're going to go to the president, and we're going to propose a bill. Which one do we want this time? Hmm. Business innovation. American businesses and innovative people drive our economy and create new jobs. Investigating diseases and testing possible treatments is an important part of medicine for medical research. And then we have air and water quality. Our health and safety depend on access to safe air to breathe and clean water to drink. Hmm. Well, as COVID is still a thing, let's do medical research. Let's try that one out. We'll have it be read. There we go. So now let's hold a press conference for that medical research idea. Hmm. How should I introduce this topic? I propose that we should give every resident of the U.S. one apple a day. That should do it. <laughs> okay. It's our job to enhance and protect the health and well-being of all Americans. I'd say that's probably the one you should do. That's definitely the more presidential it's our job one. To enhance and protect the health and well-being of all Americans. Yay, public support. Have we already discovered cures for most common diseases? Ooh. What is most? I'll say yeah. Well, no, if we want to get public support for this, then we're probably gonna wanna say no, right? That way, we need more research. We haven't discovered all those cures yet. No, I don't think so. Good, there we go. Can we learn more about improving healthy people's quality of life through medical research? Yes, we can. Yes, that's right. Yay, more public support. Thank you for coming. That's all for now. All right. So our turn this time, we proposed an idea for the medical research bill, and we held a press conference on that topic. Now it is round three. Let's go ahead and go to the legislative branch. Let's go ahead and go to the legislative branch for this one. The legislative branch crafts the laws that govern our nation. Go here to build ideas into the best bills they can be. All right. So we need to introduce one of our bills here. Which idea would you like to introduce as a new bill? So let's introduce our social supports first. Boom! We turned it into a bill. So now, do we want to hold a hearing or do we want to deliberate? Let's hold a hearing first. Which bill would you like to hold a hearing on? Let's hold a hearing on our social support bill. Ooh, okay. So now we have to build our bill. Choose who to testify for your bill.
Hmm. Okay. So. Looks like if we look over here, the Senate, we have a bunch of people saying right now, it looks like pretty much everybody's saying no. So we need to. We'll have Gary Anders help us out. There we go. And then. There. No one should go hungry in a wealthy country like America. Congress needs to find ways to make sure that everyone has access to affordable and healthy foods. Inspired by the testimony, your legislators are considering clauses to add to the bill. Would you like to add one now? You can always add them later later via the deliberate action. Yeah, let's go ahead and let's add a clause. Why not? Do we want to send all residents without homes to another country whether or not they want to go? Do we want to create programs that bring people in need together with organizations that provide critical services like housing? Or do we want to pay everyone in, a, in the country a universal income that would pay for housing and a healthy diet? Let's do create programs that bring people in need together with organizations that provide critical services like housing. We'll add that clause. Now let's Which bill would you like to deliberate? let's deliberate on this bill. So do 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 we'll see if anything's going on. All right, so we have one. So we're trying to get all of these people, instead of being red, we want them to be green like this lady here. See how hers is green and everybody else's is red? So by clicking on these different, clicking on these different additions, you'll see this one has generosity, or uh, cooperation rather. This is cooperation the brown when we add it highlights something it creates um a bigger approval area when we take it off it stays so we want to look for it looks like a lot of our people are maybe over on this side Okay, so right now we have 12% of people voting in the Senate, so one person, and 20% in the House, so three people. So we have to keep adding clauses. So let's, let's add all the clauses and see what happens. All right, so we have that. We're going to take off, we're going to take off this one. We're going to take off this one. Okay. So we're going to do See, you just have to keep playing around with it. You have to deliberate with your different people. Have to try to get them to to agree.
So right now we have 34, 34. Oh, 45, 47. So see how there's more people over here under competition in the house. So we need to have more competition than we do um, cooperation. There's only like one person for cooperation. Looks like there's more people. Same thing with cost. It looks like we're looking to be more budget friendly than spend more money. So we'll take this one off. Are there any cost supports? Nope. Looks like no. So let's go ahead and add that. That way we have one person at least saying yes. And then it looks like for equality we have Quite a bit of equality. All right, we'll end the deliberation there. Now we're going to deliberate some more. Let's see if we can deliberate and make this a bill. Hmm. Hmm, 47.45. Hmm. So I don't know if we really wanted to add anything. All right, so we need to hold more hearings, I guess. Which bill would you like to hold a hearing on? So we have to hold hearings before we can figure out what clauses we want to add. So let's see, this is on our social supports. So do we want a public housing expert? Someone who will maybe be able to help people find housing. The mayor of a small town. There are plenty of people in small towns that might need a little bit of extra support. And a social worker, someone um, who helps support people. Absolutely. So let's see, we have, looks like we need some cost. It looks like we could use another one of these. Notice how it says cost. And then it has the competition symbol. So let's have Patricia Joyce hold a hearing. I support reducing hunger and homelessness, but in a way that does not cost much money. We must cut programs that aren't serving the people. So let's add a clause. Let's see. So either start a program to make it easy for restaurants to donate extra food so that the government will not have to spend so much money feeding people. Let's go ahead and choose that one because it will give us more votes in the house. It will also give us more public support. So notice when you click on this program goes from 45% in the Senate and 47 in the House to 45 in the Senate and 54 in the House. You need more than 50% for the majority rules rule to take effect for things to pass. So 54 it would pass in the House so we can add that clause. And that's the end of our turn. So we introduced a bill 
We held a hearing and unlocked clauses, and we, de we deliberated on this bill to update its policy. Our next turn, go right back to the legislative branch. Let's hold some more hearings. Hold a hearing on this guy again. Let's add, let's add to, So I want to get this girl under competition. So I clicked on this one because it says competition. Or maybe I don't want to do that. Because we already have 54 in the House. So we should be looking probably at the Senate. So what do we need in the Senate that would also allow for the house to keep its 54%. That would be adding maybe to, to the cost saving piece. So let's have Dan free. Congress should help people experiencing homelessness. They need a choice about how to receive that help. The feeling of agency is important in getting people on the right path. So then we add a clause. So we're looking for some cost saving. I don't know if that really matters all that much. That's okay. We're going to add that clause. And then we're going to deliberate on the bill. So let's see here. We add this, what happens? Nope, we're not going to do that then. Let's add the cost saving piece. Oh, and now look. When we added that new, that new clause, we have 56% in the Senate. And 61% in the House. That means that it will pass. So we can end, end deliberation and we Which can call for a vote. Like to bring to a vote. Let's call this one to a vote. And it passed. Woohoo! Yay. So now the president will sign it. But we still have a few actions Which left idea here. Which would you like to introduce as a new bill? So let's introduce this one as a new bill, the medical research one. Ping. And we will, let's Which deliberate would first. You like to deliberate on? We'll go out of, out of order and we'll deliberate first. So it looks like there's a lot of people over here at the competition. So maybe we'll add that. Looks like we have a lot of people for equality. So let's add that. And cost saving, we'll add that. So pretty close to being able to be passed. But we're not quite there yet. Not quite there yet. So our end of turn summary. For the social support spill, we held a hearing and unlocked additional clauses. We deliberated on it and we voted on that bill. For the medical research bill, we introduced the bill into the house and we deliberated to update its policy. For our next turn, let's go back to the executive branch. We are going to review the bill. Which bill would you like to review? So let's review the bill that we made on social supports.
Yep, looks good. We'll approve it. Boing! Now it's a law. And we'll introduce a new bill. What new bill do we want? Do we want better wages, business innovation, or criminal justice reform? Let's do... Let's do criminal justice reform. We'll have that one be yellow. All right, and there's our end of turn. So we signed the social supports bill into a law and a legal challenge was brought against our new law. So next round, we'll have to go to the judicial branch. And we proposed this criminal justice reform idea for a bill. A legal case has been brought against one or more of your laws. Oh. So let's go to the, the judicial. judicial branch. Here's legal cases and make sure laws don't violate the constitution. Go here when you have cases that need to be heard. So let's go here. We have a case. So let's hear this new case. We're going to review a new law and rule on whether or not it's constitutional. Which case would you like to hear? Social supports. Today's hearing concerns recent legislation that has made its way to our court. So some challenged clauses. Reward farmers that donate their excess fruit and vegetables to food banks. Give them a soldier to host in their home. They can help work the fields. Oh my. Instead of building new government housing, provide free publicly for companies that make the best low-cost housing. Ooh, so free publicity. And send all residents without homes to another country, whether or not they want to go. Oh my. Makes sense that these would be uh, challenged. I will now review the law's clauses and decide on their constitutionality. So, what do you think? Is this constitutional? To have a soldier in your house? No, that's unconstitutional. Because the Third Amendment says the government may not force people to let soldiers stay in their home. How about this one? Instead of building new government housing, provide free publicity for companies that make the best low-cost housing. Mm, I think that that might be, that might not violate the Constitution. I think that's constitutional. Pardon the interruption, but Alyssa Andrews, please report to Mrs. Wheeler's room. Thank you. And finally, send all residents without homes to another country, whether or not they want to go. That is unconstitutional because the Fifth Amendment says the government can't take away a person's life, freedom, or property without a good reason and the right kind of legal process. The court will now deliberate on the case. We have thoroughly reviewed the law. And here is our decision. I think this clause should be stricken because it violates a part of the Constitution. The other justices agree. I think this clause is constitutional. The other justices agree. I think this clause should be stricken because it violates a part of the Constitution. The other justices agree. After discussing the case with my colleagues, here is our final decision. So it's partially constitutional. Some of the law's clauses were deemed unconstitutional. These will be removed. So 
they remove the ones that are not, uh, that are unconstitutional. So your government approval has increased in proportion to the law's popularity. 500 government approval. There we go. So we heard a case on this law and ruled on its constitutionality. So let's go, let's go to the legislative branch and figure out some more on this medical research bill. So let's hold a Which hearing. Bill would you like to hold a hearing on? Let's hold a hearing. We will have, let's see. Let's do Let's do Alex Humboldt because she's cost saving. Maybe we'll get one of these cost saving people. Congress should make sure medical and drug research efforts are successful. They can do this by giving the researchers more freedom and removing restrictive rules and regulations. Inspired by the testimony, your legislators are considering clauses to add to the bill. Would you like to add one now? Yes. So let's see. Oh, look at that. That would make it. What about if we did that? That would also make it. And that would, so this is a win-win, you guys. This is a win-win. Let's go ahead and do. Let's do that one. And then we're going to deliberate. Which bill would you like to deliberate on? Oh, we don't have executive support. Uh oh. So remember, we have. What's the president believe in again? I think he believed in. What was it? Equality and cost saving, I think. So I'm not sure why he doesn't support it. Hmm. Let's go to deliberation. We will end deliberation. Nope. All right. So let's go ahead and add Let's Which call for a vote. Like to bring to a vote. We will call the medical research to a vote. Remember, we don't have executive support. So this law very well could, um, we can call for a vote and have it pass in Congress. But if the president doesn't support it, um, if he doesn't sign it, then it doesn't come to a law. He can just veto it. But let's go ahead and call to a vote and let's see what happens. So it did pass. Boing. Which now we'll like introduce a bill. Introduce as a new bill. So let's introduce the criminal justice reform bill. And then we will hold Which a hearing for this like bill. So let's see. Let's do Nash Parker. Yeah. All right, we'll do Nash Parker. There are a lot of good ideas about how to make the criminal justice system work better. 
Let's ask everyone in America to share their thoughts on what might work. We'll add a clause. Let's do this one. And then we'll gain public support. It says establish peer support programs that pair soon to be released prisoners with those who have found success after prison. So let's do that one. And then our end of turn summary. We held a hearing about the medical research bill and unlocked clauses. We deliberated to update the um, policies on this bill. And then we called for a vote on the bill. We introduced the criminal justice reform bill in the House, and we held a hearing to unlock additional clauses. So let's go here. And we will, let's deliberate a little bit. Let's what deliberate. Bill would you like to deliberate on? On the criminal justice reform. All right. So this has public support. So this does have public support. But it looks like we have a few more um, legislators in the generosity versus the individual freedoms. So instead, let's do generosity. And then cost saving. Looks like we have a few cost saving people. So do we want to end the public defender programs around the country and require people to get their own lawyer? Or for, main, for minor crimes, replace prison with drug treatment programs, probation, or community service to reduce the prison population. Let's do that. And then, what about if we do this? Nope, let's not do that. Oh. So we'll go ahead and add that. And it looks like we still need a little something to change here. What if we take off the equality and add this one? No, same thing. All right, so we'll do that. So we have to end deliberation, and we're going to hold another Which hearing. Would you like to hold a hearing on? We have to get... Let's see. Maybe either cost saving or personal freedom. So let's do Bill Self. Because he has generosity and um, cost saving. Our criminal justice system could use some improvements, but not by growing the influence of the government. We must lower spending, increase liberty, and challenge ourselves to do better. So let's add a clause. Uh, what if we do this one? There we go. Now they're both going to pass. So reform the policies that led to the incarceration of children and teens for minor crimes and school-related offenses. Use that money on prevention. Sounds great. So we'll add that clause and we'll bring it to a vote. Would you like to bring to a vote? And we'll call for a vote. Again, the executive is not supporting this one. So it might not go through. Hmm, okay. So in this turn, we deliberated on the criminal justice reform bill. We held a hearing to unlock clauses and we voted for the bill. 
So now let's go ahead and go to our executive branch. Let's review the bill. Which bill would you like to review? Let's review the criminal, uh, let's review the medical research bill first. So we do not have executive support, so we have to veto it. It goes back to Congress. It's a bill, it's not a law yet. The same thing with this one. Let's review. We don't have presidential support. We don't have equality and generosity. So we need to veto that. So we're gonna have to go back to Congress next turn. So we vetoed both the medical research bill and the criminal justice reform bill. Now we go to Capitol Hill and we will Let's hold another hearing. We gotta Which hold a hearing. Would you like to hold a hearing on? We have to make it so executive support is going to going to make it. So let's see. Let's do this one. Because the president's values are generosity and equality. These are generosity and equality. So Kristen Sulin says government support is critical to helping find and promote treatments and cures for diseases. Drug companies rely on grants to support important research that can benefit millions of Americans. Let's add a clause. Let's see. There we go. So we add this clause for generosity. You now see that executive support is so-so. That means that he most likely will sign that bill. All Which right. Which bill would you like so, to deliberate on? Let's go to the medical research bill. Make sure everything looks good. And we'll end deliberation Which and vote. Which bill would you like to bring to a vote? Boom. And we will hold a hearing no, for like hearing our criminal justice reform. Again, President's values, generosity and equality. So we see generosity and equality. So let's have him do it. Representative Craig West. He says, state juvenile justice systems need to prove that they're providing medical, mental health, educational, and rehabilitative services. The system has already failed these kids once. It can't happen again. All right, so we'll add a clause. Let's see if this will do anything. Nice, so this one will add a super majority and it also gains public support and it makes executive support so so. So we'll add that clause and call Which for a bill vote. Would you like to bring to a vote? Boom, pass. So we held a hearing about the bill, unlocked additional clauses, deliberated and voted. We held a hearing, unlocked additional clauses and voted for the bill. Now let's go ahead and go to our executive branch where we'll sign these different bills. So we'll Which review. Bill would you like to review? Let's first review the medical research. Looks good. And then we'll review our criminal justice reform and looks good. So we signed the bill into law. A legal challenge was brought against the medical research. And then we also signed the criminal justice reform into law. So a legal case has been brought against one or more of your laws. 
This is our last turn. So let's go ahead and see if we can get this guy. So select branch. We need to hear this case. Which case would you like to hear? The medical research case. Today's hearing concerns recent legislation that has made its way to our court. So to lower health care costs requires scientists receiving government money to focus on researching disease prevention, require that all high school students interested in learning about medicine have equal access to college scholarships, and encourage drug companies to do additional medical research and share the results with the government for free. I will right. now review the law's clauses and decide on their constitutionality. So let's see here. To lower health care costs requires scientists receiving government money to focus on researching disease prevention. So is this unconstitutional because Article 3 gives judicial power to the Supreme Court and lower courts established by Congress? Is it because the 14th Amendment says that the government must treat everyone equally under the law? I think that's probably constitutional. I think it's constitutional. We'll have to see at the end. Require that all high school students interested in learning about medicine have equal access to college scholarships. Is it unconstitutional because the Eighth Amendment guarantees that someone found guilty of committing a crime may be punished? Uh, may not be punished for it in a cruel and unusual way? Or is it unconstitutional because the First Amendment protects people's right to express their ideas and opinions freely? I think that's constitutional. I don't think there's anything wrong with that one. And encourage drug companies to do additional medical research and share their results with the government for free. Is that because the 19th Amendment says that citizens cannot be denied the right to vote based on gender? Is it unconstitutional because the 26th Amendment says that citizens cannot be denied their right to vote based on their age as long as they're at least 18? I'd say neither one of those must be constitutional. The court will now deliberate on the case. We have thoroughly reviewed the law, and here is our decision. I think this clause is constitutional. The other justices agree. I think this clause is constitutional. The other justices agree. I think this clause is constitutional. The other justices agree. After discussing the case with my colleagues, here is our final decision. Woo, all three clauses are constitutional. Support for the law is increased. All right, so they were all constitutional. A thousand government approval added. Nice. So now we have two in there. So you heard a case on this law and ruled on its constitutionality. All right, and here's our final results. All right, so we have one law and we have two upheld laws. We have 2,100 uh, government approval points and we have 2,300 impact points. So combined public support here. This shows how much public support you earn for your ideas, bills and laws that were still in progress. Ideas and bills don't have as much of an impact as upheld laws, but they still contribute points to their to your final score. For the biggest impact, try to uphold as many laws as you can. So there is our final results. You can view your certificate. I suggest printing your certificate. You can save it as a PDF. Not sure if you guys are able to do that. If not, take a screenshot, please. And you can send it to me. All right, and that is Branches of Power.